Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Ghost in Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Silencer. The Silencer has a relatively simple mechanic in this game, thankfully, so it's not going to be a very long episode, but it is an important episode to get done early in the game cycle so that there's not any misinformation about the attachment. The gameplay that you're going to see is me using the Mtar X on the map Freight. I'm playing Blitz. I get off to a rough start, but I think I'm only going to show my good spree because, it, you know, it's a shorter episode, and I do attribute my success on this map to the Silencer attachment and off the grid it allows me to play stealthily. The first important fact about the silencer and probably the most important fact the biggest take home from this entire episode is that the silencer does not decrease damage no matter what the stat bar says it lies don't trust it the silencer does not actually raise or lower your damage neither the minimum nor the maximum nor the in-between numbers rather what the silencer does is it decreases range this is the same mechanic since cod 4 as soon as cod 4 started they decided that the silencer rather than actually changing the damage numbers would more accurately represent the muzzle velocity not the muzzle velocity, the bullet velocity being lessened by the silencer by decreasing the range. And, you know, in Call of Duty games, your guns do a lot of damage up close. They start, you know, losing some damage, and they do less damage at a distance. The silencer decreases the range at which it starts to lose damage, so you get effectively less over range, with the one exception, and that's sniper rifles. Snipers are special. They usually deal 98, 95 damage, something like that, and if you hit in the chest, you'll do 1.5 or 1.1x damage to get a one-shot kill. So so when you put a suppressor or a silencer on your sniper rifles, what it's not going to do is change your damage, but what it will do is change the body multiplier, so you'll get a 1x on the chest or a 0.9x on the chest or something like that. So a region that previously would get you a one-shot kill will now get you a two-shot kill. I'll save that for the sniper rifle reviews because I haven't had the luxury of testing all of them yet, but I have tested a few and the mechanic does appear to be the same because it was the same in other Call of Duty games. But what it does is you get 25% less range for all weapons and this includes includes marksman rifles. I know that was going to be the next question. Well, what about marksmen? Because they're kind of like snipers. Marksman rifles are lumped into this category. Putting a silencer on your weapons, you get 25% less range. That's actually not that big of a penalty. Uh, other games, it's been 30 or 35%. Sometimes on a certain weapon, it can go up to 50, just kind of depending. So the suppressor doesn't actually hurt your range that much. It's really not that punishing, but it is a little bit, and it might make or break if you were gun v gun in a close quarter situation. Anyway, the next important thing you need to know is that it removes almost all muzzle flash. That's the sort of bright light and smoke and hiss at the end of the barrel when you're shooting, and this allows you to track your targets better if you're using iron sights. It doesn't make much difference if you prefer dots or ACOGs, but if you're going iron sights, it makes a big difference, and you stay off the radar when firing. These are mechanics that have been the same all the way back to Call of Duty. As long as you have the silencer, you're not going to be on radar when you fire your weapons. It muffles the sound of the gun in this game, but not as much as other COD games. Other COD games, it would make the gun sound kind of like wet farts and it would go kind of pew, 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 almost like a little Star Wars laser or something but in this game they decided to do the sound design to be a little bit more realistic so it makes a nice loud crack just like a real gun would make when you're using a suppressor because as a person who shot suppressed weapons I can tell you they're not completely silent. Some of the weapons especially the ones with the integrated suppressor do seem to be using subsonic ammo it doesn't it's it's all aesthetic here it doesn't change the way your gun functions but a few of them do make those little wet fart sounds but most of them are pretty loud so enemies can still hear you pretty easily you're not going to be able to stay completely hidden like you were in previous Call of Duty games. In Black Ops 2, the suppressor had an effect on accuracy. It would make your gun less accurate. As far as all of my testing indicates on Call of Duty Ghost, there are no known effects on accuracy. I have not been able to find anything that indicates that a suppressor or silencer is going to make your gun less accurate, at least in this point in time. And lastly, this is best used with the off-the-grid perk. The off-the-grid perk keeps you off the radar, you know, the, from the SATCOMs and anything that scans you or picks you up. And as long as you use a suppressor and you run you run off the grid, you will probably never be on radar unless you get tagged by something like Recon. So it's best used with that perk, best used on a stealthy class, and best used flanking. But the two big takeaways from this episode are it doesn't decrease your damage and it actually doesn't even decrease your range that much. Well guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something useful. If you'd like to check out the previous episode on muzzle brake, you can click the box on the left that'll open in a new window. And if you'd like to check out the next episode, which is going to be much longer and much more complicated on Deadeye, you can click that box and it'll also open in a new window. As always, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out!